Hello, 8121. Hello, is that, um, like MP4? It's speaking. Hi, this is one of your constituents. Oh, yes. In fact, I voted for you at the last election. Thank you very much. How can I help? Well, I was wondering what I can do if I think an MP has been dishonest. Dishonest? Yes, lied. Oh, may I ask who? I'd rather not say yet. I'd just like to know what my options are. Options? Yes, well, um, if a company or an individual lies to me, or makes a promise they can't deliver, I can take them to court. Yes. Because there's um, an obligation to be truthful in their representations. Well, a member of parliament has the same obligation. Yes, that's what I thought, but I was wondering where it says that. I mean, there must be a law. A law? And if they don't abide by it, what can the electorate do? Well, for starters, you don't vote for them again. But we only get to vote every four years, and even then it's for a party. Well, that's democracy. You can always go to the press. So an MP's accountability is dependent on whether it'll sell newspapers? I didn't say that. But you are saying there's no statute, no law that requires an MP to be honest. Well, I, I need to know a little bit more about it. Would you be interested in sponsoring such a bill? Maybe. You don't think we should have but If I could take some detail, Mr... You're saying the electorate has to rely on its vote every four years for a newspaper editor to keep politicians honest. Aren't you? Is this a wind-up? I could ask you the same question.